Hello guys, this is Paul McWhorter with TopTechBoy.com and we're here today with episode number 49 in our incredible new tutorial series where you're teaching your Raspberry Pi who's boss. What I will need you to do is pour yourself a nice tall glass of ice cold coffee. That would be straight up black coffee poured over ice, no sugar, no sweeteners, none needed. And as you're pouring your coffee, as always, I want to give a shout out to our friends over at SunFounder. SunFounder is actually sponsoring this most excellent series of video lessons. And in this class, we will be using the SunFounder Raphael kit for Raspberry Pi. Now, most of you guys probably already have your kit, but if you don't, look down in the description. There is a link over to Amazon and you can hop on over there and get your gear. And believe me, your life and my life are going to be a whole lot easier if we are working on identical hardware. But enough of this shameless self-promotion. Let's jump in and talk about what I am going to teach you today. And what I'm going to teach you is I'm going to teach you to start understanding what a picture is. Okay, understanding what a picture is. And this is a really, really important lesson. And it's going to really be broken down into two classes this week and next week. We're both going to be looking at this topic. Now, this week, I'm going to just kind of be drawing up for you in very simple arrays, trying to get you to understand what a picture is. Uh, you know, when we're working with images, what a picture is as far as it being a data structure. And we're going to just draw up some really simple arrays to help you understand it. <clears throat> and then next week, we'll go in and start generating some larger arrays so that you can actually be creating things that are actual picture size and manipulating that uh, that frame, that image as if it were a data set. So we're going to take two lessons to do that. And let's jump in. Let's jump over here and maybe I can jump in by kind of just giving you a little bit more color on what we're talking about. This is that program that we've been running the last few weeks where basically we just set our camera up and then in OpenCV, we go out and we grab a frame. <clears throat> So this is our Pi camera, and then what do we do? We capture an array, and then we put it in this variable called frame. So now, what is frame? Frame is a two-dimensional array. It has rows, and it has columns. And at the intersection of a row and a column, we have a what? we have a pixel. And so for a kind of like full frame uh, image, it might be 1920 columns wide by 1080 rows. <clears throat> now you can imagine if I'm going to go in and start drawing these little, you know, to, to, to teach you what the data structure is, I can't create a data structure that big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an itty bitty little picture, but it will demonstrate how the data structure works. And it's going to be three rows and three columns. Okay. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. And so let's just jump over here to the sketch pad and let's just jump right in. And I'm going to start with, I guess, what would be the simplest data structure possible, and that would be a non-pixel picture, a non-pixel black and white picture, okay? Well, what would that be? I'm just going to create a variable called frame, and that is going to be equal to a two-dimensional array. So the first open bracket is going to open the overall array. And then the next open bracket is going to open the row. And then I'm going to have how many data points on that row? <clears throat> I'm going to have three. Okay, a zero is off, it's black. And a one is on, it's white. So I'm just going to say zero, comma, zero, comma, zero. Now close the bracket to finish the first row. Now put a comma to get ready for the next row. <clears throat> now I'm going to open the second row, and this one is going to be 0, 1, 
zero, close the row, comma to get ready for the next row, open that third row, and that's going to be zero, comma, zero, comma, zero. Now we're going to close the third row, no comma, and now we're going to close the overall array. Okay, that is a three by three image. Now let's think about that. If we were to come in and draw this, the first row, all three pixels are what? They're off. I guess I better draw this black, right? Because we said that this was black. And so this one is off. So it's going to be black. This one is off. It's going to be black. This one is off. It's going to be black. This one's off, right? Right here, the next row. That's going to be black. This one is on, so it's going to be white. And then this one's going to be black. And then the bottom row are all zeros, so they're all going to be black. So what did we do? We created a non-pixel image that's basically a black frame around a white pixel. Pretty neat, right? But this would just be something like a page of text where everything is either black or white. But if we wanted a picture, we would need to at least have what? We would need to at least have grayscale where a pixel is not just on or off, but maybe it is some gray in between. Well, there let's imagine that we've got an eight bit integer instead of zero and one binary. Now let's have an eight bit integer where I can have 256 values, which would be numbers between zero and 255. And then I could create a grayscale. So let's see if we can come in and do that. I think the best thing would be for me to clear this. I think the best thing would be for me to clear this. And now let's come in and make sure that I am back here. Okay, so now let's create a frame, okay. And that's going to be equal to what's the first thing we do. We're going to open our matrix. Now we're going to open our row and it's going to be zero, zero, zero. That is going to be all what? All black. So I close the row, put a comma, getting ready for the next row. <clears throat> I open the next row and I'm going to say zero. And now what am I going to do? I'm going to give it an in-between value. The first, uh, you know, right above it, that pixel right above it is going to be black. But I'm going to make this one. 25. And 125 is going to be what? Kind of like half white, half black. It's going to be gray. And then I'm going to make this one zero, close the row, comma to get ready for the next row. And now I'm going to open the last row and this is going to be zero. And then 255 and zero. <coughs> close the row. And then I've closed the overall, uh, close the overall, uh, um, uh, array. What would this look like? Well, again, it's three pixels by three pixels. Okay. And then what am I going to have? Well, I'm going to have all black. All three of these pixels are black. Okay. This pixel is zero, so it's black. This pixel is zero, so it's black. Okay. This pixel is zero, so it's black. And then this is black. Okay, now what is this 125? Well, that is halfway. That is halfway between black and white. And so that one would be what? It would be gray. Okay, that one would be gray. And then 255 is what? It's full on. So that one down here would be white. Okay, so do you see I have black pixels, I have gray pixels, and I have white pixels? And I'm not just limited to 125. If I wanted it darker, let's say I wanted it darker, then instead of 125, let's say that I wanted it a lot darker, so I would make it maybe 60 because that would be closer to being black, closer to being off. And then that pixel would be something more like this, something closer to black. Okay, it would be a gray closer to black. So now what am I able to do? Not just do text-based images that are all black or all white, but I could have grayscale 
black and white pictures by allowing each pixel, by allowing each pixel to be what? To be a gray anywhere between white and black, including white and black. Okay, but do I want to stop there? No. What do I really want? What I really want is I really want to be able to have color pictures. Sure. And so for a color picture at each pixel, I cannot just put a number between 0 and 255. I have to have what? I have to have three numbers. A number for red strength, green strength, and blue strength. You know how, and we've mixed colors before, so you know you can mix colors with red, green, and blue. Well, we've got to have three numbers to mix. So instead of having a single number, at each pixel, I have to have three numbers. And so my data structure is going to be a little bit different. My data structure is going to be a little bit different. So let's go in and take a look if I want to make a color picture. Well, I'm still going to call it frame. Okay, and frame is going to be equal to I have got to open the overall array. Now I have to open the row, but now since the pixel is going to have three numbers, I have to what? I have to open the pixel. And now inside of this little array is going to be three numbers. Now, unfortunately, we normally think of the numbers as red, green, blue, but in OpenCV, the order that they put the numbers in is blue, green, red. So the first number I'll put is blue, the second number I'll put is green, and the third number I will put is red. And so let's make this. We've opened the pixel. Now what I'm going to make this is 255 for the blue, comma, zero for the green comma zero for the red now i am going to close the pixel comma i'm going to open the next pixel and that one i'm going to make zero comma two fifty five comma zero all right and now close the pixel comma now open that last pixel on the row and it's going to be zero comma zero comma two 55. Now, what do I need to do? I need to close the pixel. All right. Now, what do I need to do? I need to close the array. All right. I got to close the pixel. I've got to close the array and now come, I mean, close the pixel, close the row, close the pixel, close the row. Now a comma to get ready for the next row. Now I open the next row. I open the pixel, and then this one <clears throat> is going to be 255, comma, 255, comma, 0. Close the pixel, comma, open the next pixel. This one is going to be 0, comma, 255, comma, 255. Close the pixel, comma, open the pixel, and this one's going to be 2, 55 comma 0 comma 255 now what do I do I close the pixel now what do I need to do I need to close the row now what do I need a comma to get me ready for the next row now I'm going to open the row I'm going to open the pixel and I'm just going to make it 0 comma 0 comma 0 close the pixel comma <clears throat> open the pixel, 0, 0, 0, close the pixel, comma, open the pixel, and then 0, 0, 0, close the pixel, close the row, no comma because I don't have another row, and now what? Close the overall array. Does that make sense? Now let's see what we would get when we actually drew this thing up. What is our picture going to look like? Well, <coughs> this first one up here, 25500, 0, 0, 255 is blue and then green and then red. So which one is on blue? So this first pixel is going to be solid blue. Now, blue, green, okay, the second pixel is going to be what? Blue is off green is 255 and red is off so that pixel is going to be what that pixel is going to be green now the next one zero blue zero green 255 for red this pixel is going to be 
red. Okay, now if I mix blue and green together, you know, on the, the first pixel of the second row, I've got blue on, I've got green on, and I've got red off, that is going to be what? That is going to be cyan. Mixing blue and green gives you cyan. Now zero on the blue, and I mix green and red. If you mix green and red, you are going to get yellow. That yellow doesn't show up very good, but I think you can see it. And then finally, I come over and I am mixing blue, no green, and red. And what is that going to give me? That is going to give me magenta. And then zero, 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 off, 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 that's gonna be what? Black, so I'm gonna have solid black. I'm gonna have solid black and I'm gonna have solid black. Okay, now this is how you have to start thinking of it as a data structure. Okay, what if I wanted to know what the center pixel is? Remember, it goes rows and columns. It goes rows and columns. And so if I want the center pixel, how would I address the center pixel? Well, I would want to print I would want to print what? Frame. Okay, I would want to print frame. And then uh, I have to give it an index. Well, which row do I want? Remember, we start with zero. This is row zero, row one, and row two. And so I am going to want row zero. And then this is column zero, column one, column two. And then I'm going to want which column? I am going to want, I'm sorry, not row zero. That, that was not right. Let me do that again. Okay, I want the center one. So I've got to index it. That is row one. Okay, and then it is also going to be column one. And if I said to print that, what is it going to print? It's going to print that pixel. It's going to print zero comma two fifty five comma two fifty five. That's what it's going to print. It's going to give you the three numbers because you indexed it all the way down to the pixel. Well, what if I wanted the blue value, the blue value of this? Okay, the blue value of row one, column two. So this is zero, one, two on the columns, <clears throat> what would that be? Well, that would be the frame, the frame of what the row, and that is going to be row one, okay? And then what column is it? It is column two, right? Row one, column two, and then the blue value is the first position, which is the what? the zeroth position. And so I would want frame of row one, column two, zeroth position. And then what would that give me? That would give me the blue value. And this time, since I've indexed all the way down, it would just give me like that 255. Does that make sense? Now, understand these things are gonna be enormous, but no matter how big they are, this is how you index pixels. It goes the row, and then it goes the column, and then it goes you know, which color, blue, green, red, zero, one, two. Does that make sense? That is pretty darn cool. Okay, I've kind of started to draw it out for you like that, but now let's come back over and let's just actually go into Python and let's play with this a little bit and see if it works the way that I showed you there. Okay, and so we're gonna be working, let's see if I can uh, get this where you can see. Okay, it's over here like this. I'll bring this up and to actually uh, the Python, uh, the, the Python uh, array function isn't very powerful. And so actually when you're dealing with images, you don't just use the, the Python arrays, you use the NumPy arrays because they're, they're, the, they're the format of arrays that are used for pictures. And so if I'm gonna use NumPy, you already have it because it was installed when you installed OpenCV. But we're just going to operate from the command line. So I'm going to say import uh, numpy as np. All right. Now I'm going to create a frame. 
and that frame is going to be equal to, I've got to tell it it's an NP array. All right, now I've just got to open that function call and now I've got to put the array like I showed you earlier. Let's go ahead and let's start, hmm, let's start with just simply black and white. So what do I do? I open the array. Now I need to what? Open the row. Now since it's just numbers in the row, I'm not putting the color values. All I need now is three numbers. So I'm going to go 0, 0, 0. So I've made the first row what? I've made the first row black. I am going to close the row. Okay, now I am going to put a comma to get ready for the next row. And now I'm going to what? I'm going to open the next row. And now I'm going to go zero. Uh, let me let me come back here. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to go one, zero, zero. Okay. And now I'm going to go zero, comma, zero, comma, one, like that. Now I'm going to close the second row, put a comma to get ready for the third row, open the third row, and then I'm going to go zero, comma, one, comma, zero. Okay, now close the row, no comma because I finished the last row. And now what? Close the overall matrix like that. Let's look and see if that works. Ah, oh, oh I see what I did. Uh, what I did wrong here is I've got to also just call the fun close the function call, right? I've got to close this uh, where I opened the array function call. Now I have to close that. But the array itself is this part in here. So let's go ahead and hit enter. And it like that now, let's just look at frame and see what we have. Boom, look at that. First row is one, zero, zero. Second row is zero, zero, one. And then I would have zero, one, zero. And so let's just hop back over here and let's uh, just remind ourselves what that picture would be. That picture would be three by three. Okay, it would be black and it would be, uh, it would be white and then black, black. The one is white, white, black, black. And then it would be black, black and white. And then it would be, it would be black and then it would be white and it would be black. So the one, ones turn white, the blacks, uh, the zeros stay black, if that makes sense. And hopefully you could see that I was almost in front of you there. Okay, not very good artwork, but hopefully it makes sense. So does that make sense? This is a what? This is a black and white picture. But now let's go in here. Let's go in here and let's say, what if I wanted to look at frame and I wanted to look at row zero and I wanted to look at column zero, row zero, column zero. <clears throat> what should that be? This is row zero, column zero right here. And so when I do this, I should see a what? I should see a one. Now, really, it would be good if I was putting print in here, but if you just put the thing, it'll, it'll print it for you. It's just a little bit of a shortcut. Okay, what if I said I wanted frame of row one, okay, frame of row one, and then column two. You guys tell me what that would be. That's also a one, right? That's this one over here. What if I said frame, and then I wanted row, row, I, I wanted row two, and I want column one. That's going to be that other one. Well, what if I just said I wanted frame of zero? What's that going to do? That's going to print the whole first row, one, zero, zero. What if I said frame of one? That's going to print the whole second row like that. Do you see how we can index things like that? That is pretty cool, isn't it? Well, I'm just going to go back up to where I defined this. And now, instead of just putting in single numbers, now instead of just putting in single numbers, what I'm going to put in is, let's say I would go zero. I'm going to go zero comma zero comma zero. 
and then I'm going to put a zero here just to start out with zeros. And now I'm going to come down. This one is going to be 255. That's going to be what? That's going to be full white. And then here I'm going to put 125, which is going to be kind of half, halfway, uh, halfway black, you know, kind of like half black, half white, just the middle of the grayscale. And then this one here, I'm going to put as 50. And if I put it as 50, that's going to be a very dark gray. That's going to be almost black. All right. And so then I can click enter and look, it took it. Now, similarly, what I could do is I could say, what is frame of row one <clears throat> and then column one? What do you expect that to do? What do you expect that to do? That is 125 because that is row one and then that is column zero and that is column one. Is that pretty cool? <clears throat> okay, let's do one more. Let's say that instead of this one is going to be a little more tedious. This one's going to be a little bit more tedious, but let's come in here and then this is going to be replaced by this number is going to be replaced by a color pixel. And so this one is going to be 255 comma zero comma zero. And now I'm going to close the pixel. Now this one, I'm going to open the pixel. And this one is going to be zero comma 255 comma zero. And then what? Close the pixel. All right. And then this one is going to be open the pixel. And then this one is going to be, uh, this one is going to be zero comma zero comma 255. And now I close the pixel. Okay, now we got to look at this really carefully. This is the function call. Don't worry about that. I am opening the matrix. I am opening the row. I am opening the pixel, putting the pixel in, closing the pixel. Opening the pixel, putting the pixel in, closing the pixel. Opening the pixel, putting the pixel in, closing the pixel. Now, what do I have to do? close the row, get ready for the next row. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to open the row. Now I've got to open the pixel and this time I'm going to put, I'm going to open the pixel. And then this time I'm going to put 255 comma 255 comma zero. And now what? Now I'm going to close the pixel, all right, comma. And I think I'm probably just confusing you guys. I'm probably just confusing you guys by trying to edit this. Okay, so let me just kind of do it cleanly. All right, so here I open the second row. Here I open the first pixel of the second row. Here I close the first pixel of the second row. Now this will be the second pixel, which is going to be two, 55 comma zero comma 255 close that pixel and then put a comma and then I'm opening the last pixel of the second row which is going to be uh, <coughs> let's make it let's see I made it 255 0 255 0 0 255 then 255 255 and then this one is going to be zero comma 255 comma 255 now what? close the pixel. What now? Close the row. Now what? Put a comma to get ready for the next row. Now open the row. Uh, now open the row. Open the pixel. Zero comma zero comma zero. Close the pixel comma. Open the pixel. Zero comma zero comma zero. Close the pixel comma. <clears throat> Open the pixel, zero comma zero comma zero, close the pixel. Now I need to what? I need to close the row. Now I need to what? Close the whole matrix because that was the last row. I closed it, no comma. I closed the overall array. Now I've just got to close the function call like that and boom. Okay, now let's see what would the center pixel be? The center pixel would be frame of row one, column one. 
okay? And that'll give me the whole pixel. And the whole pixel is 250, the whole pixel is 25500 because that was here, 25500. Now, what if I wanted the red value of that pixel? That would be frame, <coughs> row one, column one, what? Position two, and that should be what? 255. <laughs> We're doing pictures, okay. <clears throat> even though, even though this is just a nine pixel picture, this is exactly how you would do something that was much bigger. If I have 1920 columns in 1080 rows, that data structure is going to look exactly like this. Now, if I came over here and I grabbed this frame for you, and then I printed that frame for you, the problem is, is that it would be so big that you couldn't even see it. But let's just see if I just tried to look at one pixel. What if I said, show me frame of row zero, column zero. Okay, I'm just gonna look at one pixel and I'm gonna say print that. Okay. So I'm gonna print the value of one pixel and it's gonna be the upper left corner. So this is kind of crazy. I probably shouldn't even be trying to do nonsense like this on the fly, but let's see what happens if we run this. Okay, look at that, boom. Do you see that? I am getting blue of 140. I am getting green, uh, blue green of 150. And then I'm getting a red of almost zero. And so if you see, if you look up in the upper left corner, this green screen, what looks green to us, you can see it's really kind of a mix of blue and green, but still you can see clearly that there's no red there. So I am looking at those pixels going by. Well, what if I wanted to come over here and I want the actual green value of my green screen? What would I put in? I want blue, green, which is one, like that. And now what should I see? Okay. I should see the green value. And you see it's a pretty strong green from 0 to 255. It's like half strength green. And so you can see what looks to our eye as really, really green. OpenCV says, ah, that's kind of green. Yeah, it's pretty green. It's about half green, but it's not like that in your face green. Okay. It is not like that in your face green. Okay, guys. <clears throat> I hope this has not been a tedious lesson. I really hope that this has not been a tedious lesson. But what I need you guys to do is I need you guys to really, really, really understand this. I need you guys to really, really, really understand this because let me come back over here to our little uh, view here. That's not it. Yeah, here it is. Because we're going to have to go in and we're going to start having to treat that frame. We're going to have to go in and start treating that frame as a data set. Now, what you've done today is you've seen there's rows, you've seen there's columns, and then you can see that there's color pixels and you know how to address that. You also see that at the end of the row, you've got to close the row comma and then open the row, open the pixel. You've kind of seen how you've got to do those things. And so that sort of, uh, that sort of makes sense. Uh, and so what your homework assignment is, is to just go in and play around with the things that I showed you today and see if you can sort of start getting comfortable with those things and making sure that you understand that data structure. And then what we are going to do, what we are going to do next week is I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna start creating large data arrays that are like the 1920 by 1080. I'm gonna create the full frames, but we're not gonna go in and look at every one because it would be too hard to print, but I'm gonna go in and show you now how you can grab portions of it or you can change portions of it. So I'm going to show you how you can address not just a single pixel, but you can address a certain range of rows. <clears throat> I, I did columns, a certain range of columns 
and then address a certain range of rows, if that makes sense. So we're going to have two kind of tedious lessons last week's, uh, this one that I just did, lesson 49, and then lesson 50 is going to be a little bit tedious as well. But then after that, we're going to go in and we're going to really, really start having fun again. But for you to have fun, you really have to understand a frame or a picture as a data array. You guys, was this too tedious? Leave me some feedback down. Down below. I know sometimes I get a little bit into the depth of depths of things, but believe me, if you can understand today's lessons and next week's lesson, then all of a sudden some really, really incredible things are going to start happening with that camera. Okay, guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. If you leave a comment down below, that will help us with the old YouTube juice, get YouTube to show this to more people. Then also, if you've not already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. When you subscribe, make sure that you ring that bell. And finally, share this video with other people because the world needs more people doing engineering and fewer people sitting around watching silly cat videos. Paul McWhorter with toptechboy.com. I will talk to you guys later. <laughs>